Hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it, Geminis. Let's do it. All right, Geminis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Geminis. Let's go. Happy 7-7 seven, seven to you, you, and you, Geminis. Talking to you wherever Geminis in your birth chart. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description, Geminis. We also have gem, uh, um, digital journals and digital calendars for those of you all who want to journal your journey. That's going to be really important to journal your journey um, this, uh, this year because this is uh, karmic cycles are being broken so that sacred ties, sacred bonds can, can come together. So here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm talking to you wherever Gemini is in your birth chart. Here we also have the Lover's card, right? Lover's card. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Devil card here. We also have the uh, Queen of Wands here. And then we also have the Queen of Cups here, right? Queen of, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. All right. So here you are sitting on your throne. I love it, I love it, I love it. So somebody has definitely made a decision to part ways with fear, doubt, uncertainty. And I feel like, you know, you're going to feel very fortunate to just see yourself, see your worth and see your value the way other people see you, you know, because I feel like that could be part of somebody's fear and doubt is that not that people don't see your worth and see your value, right? So that's going to make somebody feel, because this right here, the people see you as down to earth. They see you as relatable. They see there's a lot of growth in and around you. They see you as being happy, charismatic, and free. They see you as a person who is very compassionate, you know, who knows how to pour into themselves. And so a lot of it has to do with just kind of how you love yourself. And so there could have been somebody in your life that just made you feel worthless or made you feel like just burned out or stressed out or confused or you could have been contaminated by other people's demons and their toxicity, you know, just by how they talk to you. Remember, water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. So if you had somebody in your life that, you know, didn't love themselves, you know, they could have projected that onto you. So source is giving somebody some time to see yourself in, in a different light, right? To see yourselves in a different light so that you don't project that fear of self-love onto any of onto other people right so that you'll know your worth right so this is your wheel of fortune there here we also have the nine of cups i'm seeing a lot of your wishes being fulfilled the eight of cups here we have the two of cups here we have the king of pentacles here we also have the three of pentacles and also the six of pentacles here we have the nine of cups so source is definitely making sure to put you around your wishes are being fulfilled and source is putting you around a different type of group of people so i'm seeing your your cups being filled, uh, filled, this uh, soulmate energy coming into your life, you had to first raise your frequency, meaning to know that, okay, you need to break away from toxic energies, toxic thoughts. You need to get away, like take your water somewhere else, meaning that you had to learn how to flush out your water, meaning that you had to find out what your moon sign is and do things to nurture yourself and get away from just getting delivered from other people's opinions of how you nurture yourself. And so, and just how you love yourself, right? And so, um, here we have the King of Pentacles right here in order for you to attract your King of Pentacles. So, it is, it's realistic for you to be your king, your own King and Queen of Pentacles, down to earth and very wealthy, down to earth, relatable and very wealthy. It doesn't mean that you have to be with someone unless you want to be with someone, the king of pencil is a person who really doesn't let any grass grow under their feet. They got 24 hours in a day. They know how to nurture themselves. They have a balanced out life. So does the queen of pentacles down to earth. It's just a feminine aspect of it and masculine aspect of things. When I look at your cards here, source is going to make sure you're financially independent. But you desire teamwork. And that's a conversation that you're going to have with people. That inspires you as teamwork, looking at your cards here. So I definitely see you in a leadership position where from now on, you're not looking for people's acceptance and you're not looking for people's approval at all. It doesn't matter who they are. Your, your water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. And if you're not inspired, if, if you're around people who are, you know, trying to project, you know, their fear, doubt, uncertainty, chaos, confusion, 
you know, whatever they're carrying their insecurities onto you and this is affecting that teamwork, you're, it's a no, it's a no-go for you. It, it's a no-go for you. Nope. Because it's not, you, if, especially if you've already experienced that. If you've already experienced that, you're saying, no, nah, it's a no-go for you. It's a, it's a no-go for you. So, yeah. So, somebody may have had, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at the Two of Cups here. Here we also have the High Priestess here. We also have the Nine of Wands. Here we have the King of Pentacles again, the Full card, and then also the Emperor card. Yeah. Here we have the Two of Cups here. So, Two of Cups came out twice. So as you and somebody, like I said before, you all are learning how to, you know, move on from some things. Here we have the Emperor card. So yeah, I definitely feel like, um, I feel like somebody has had to leave a bunch of chaos and confusion behind, you know, um, full card connects us with, um, you know, you feel a change, liberated and free of those types of relationships, learning how to listen to your intuition. This is high priestess energy. This is the divine feminine side of the high priest, right? So your physical body would be like, okay, how do you feel around? But that intuition is that high priestess energy. Like what is your intuition telling you? Are you in spaces where people don't necessarily, you know, they, they see you as competition versus they want, you're looking for teamwork and they're looking for some kind of friction. Oh, I'm better than, I look better than, I'm this better than. You're like, that's not teamwork for you. That's opposition. You're not interested in that, right? Especially you like, okay, you talking about adjusting crowns and they talking about trying to knock your crown off. Here we have nine of wands. So somebody is now coming into the light about being in those types of spaces. Here we have the king of pentacles as well, as well as being around people that if you were to accept being in receiving mode for energies that want to be your king or queen of pentacles in your life, you all have to be together as a team because they would be the opposition if they sat there and left you uncovered. They would absolutely be opposition if they sat there and act like they didn't know what was going on. That's definitely not speaking your love language when you're air sign, when you're moving from your heart chakra and you're looking for commonalities, connections, equanimity, those kind of things. And they're sitting there like they didn't hear or see anything. That's not a person that's looking to learn your love language. That's somebody who's like, okay, I, I didn't physically see anything. Okay, you're making all of this stuff up. Like as if your intuition isn't telling you something. They're, they don't see anything. They don't listen to your intuition. They think you crazy. They think you losing your mind. All this other stuff. That's not going to work for you. And I'm talking to men and women, uh, Gemini's, by the way. So, yeah, you're like, okay, oh, you know, they trying to treat you like you the fool because, and it's, and it also, and it also for you feels like a form of gaslighting because it almost feels like, okay, they don't believe me if I'm telling them something like it's, it's, it's my intuition isn't working. My intuition button isn't working, but okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. So when you're around people who they don't believe anything unless they physically see it and people know that they're like that. They're like, okay, well, you know what? Um, I can easily fool them. I can, I can play games with, I can, I can, you know, um, I can cause friction with Gemini if they got somebody around them that don't believe it unless they physically see it. So I can mess with Gemini. I can, I can, I can, I can antagonize Gemini because whoever Gemini is with is not covering them because if they didn't physically see it, they ain't gonna believe it. So you know, that kind of stuff. So source is saying, you know, it's, you can, you can, um, you feel change liberated and free getting from around those types of energies. Here we have the four swords and I feel like somebody's finally getting in rest. Like, okay, you just moving on. Yeah. Here we have the page of wands here. Somebody's actually going to feel a lot stronger getting from around very immature fire starting energies who like to see people as competition and just being messy. They just like to create a whole bunch of chaos and confusion and sit back and act like they're innocent. Here we also have the Ace of Cups here. So, yeah, you'd rather not even deal with them. You, you just rather not deal with those types of energies. Like, oh, you, you know, you're dealing with somebody like, and they, they're like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, you know, see anything. Because like those type of energies, they won't see it until everybody is away from there. Like they won't see it until they that. Like, for instance, if you're dating somebody like that or you're married to somebody like that and they're, they got antagonists in their family, they won't see it because, well, their friends are antagonists. 
and they don't still want to believe it because they're like, oh, you just every everybody jealous of my friends, everybody jealous of my family. Like they and people know that they know how they can control them that way. They know if okay, they, if the family don't like them, they won't be with them for long. They do all kinds of stuff to antagonize people, and they just just go with the flow like a like a puppet. So source is saying to you, don't even waste your time. In the beginning. And on top of that, they'll get mad at you and be vain and vindictive towards you because you don't want to have anything to do with them. So, so she's saying, just save yourself the problem. Save yourself, just get away from the circus. Here we have two of swords. Take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off. You just moving through a rite of passage. Take the blindfolds off. See, here we have, there was a lot of people around you just wearing masks when it comes to money, just wearing a mask. That's all they were doing, just wearing a bunch of masks. When it comes to money, we're masking their pain in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So it's the same thing. Like even if you're a parent and you have a child that, and they're dating somebody, and child, they're dating somebody that keeps rolling their eyes and stuff like that at you, or acting, you know, weird and different towards you, and you telling your child like they're very disrespectful. Like, oh, you know, like anybody I date, they may gonna they gonna have to find out the hard way. They're going to have to find out the hard way that you're not just making up stuff and you're not crazy or just trying to create chaos and confusion. They're dealing with a master manipulator. So Source is saying, you know, Source is saying to you, you've had to deal with, you know, there's some kind of a fire energy. It's either uh, um, Aries somewhere dealing with something or a um, Capricorn could be involved. Aries or Capricorn could be involved in it. Here we have the um, Nine of Cups here. But I'm saying your wish is being fulfilled. So... Like I said, source is bringing you to the Nine of Cups here. Your wishes are being fulfilled about two situations in particular. So source is saying you can leave all that leave all that behind. Like I said, the cycle is closed. You're embarking on a whole new cycle, a whole new journey. You don't even have to worry about that no more at all. Your case closed. Just move on. Here we have the Ten of Swords. Yep, Ten of Swords. Some people don't believe it until the until, they, until something happens. They, sometimes people just don't, they just so shocked until, and, they, they, and then they're just shocked, like all of a sudden they now hear everything you had to say, but to you not coming back with the I told you so. So here we have the four of cups here. Yeah, because some, some people, like I said, they're making it all about them until something bad happens. That's why you just got to pray for people. They don't want to see things. Some people don't want to see things until something happens. So that's where you're coming from. You're staying on the throne. You're keeping it in a very compassionate standpoint. And uh, source is giving you a sex source is giving somebody an exodus strategy that you prayed for. So where the number seven seven comes in, and seventy seven is a master number, just so we know, is that seventy seven means that your life is filled with double spiritual insight and psychic abilities, right? Seventy seven means that you're able to penetrate straight into the core of any matter. It means that you're designed to release others from mental and spiritual pain. It also means that you're able to share your intelligence with those who are afraid to take risks. So their courage bubbles up inside them and they are energetically brought back into balance. Right. So you, when you see that, hey, when you see that people are in a, a karmic relationship and they don't believe things until they physically see it. And your intuition is telling you something. And you're saying, you know what? Instead of you getting into a sword fight with somebody. And I'm saying sword specifically because you're an air sign. And sword energy is air energy, right? And you're just like, okay, this person is just blinded by something. They just cannot see anything. You have just decided, you know what? It's better to keep it on the throne and pray for people, for real. It's better for you to just stay on the throne and pray for people, that they find the light within themselves, that they find the light within themselves. And your prayers will be answered. Just keep it on the throne. Just keep it on the throne. Your prayers will be answered because you're, you're start, somebody's starting to see your prayers are being answered for very whatever it is you've been praying for. Just keep it on the throne. Some people don't even realize when they're around people who are wearing masks. They mask in some kind of pain, their financial situation. They're living, a, a living beyond their means. And do anything for money, you know, they're master manipulators, you know, and that's kind of thing. And so just doing just doing anything for money. So sources saying, you know, and um and when I say anything, anything for money. So it's all fun and games, but sources getting you away from some stuff. So here we have somebody's around some toxic masculinity, but it's you versus you, and it's time for you to expand your brand. So stay focused, Gemini's. It's time for you to expand your brand. But things are going to start flowing to you like water. Lots of things are about to flow to you like water. So get, get yourself ready. Make room. 
make room to check your request list again, but prepare for an increase in pay. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. You have a new whole new attitude. Um, but yeah, you have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning. But treat yourself to a spa day and you have the gift of telepathy and they apologize for hurting you. But it's a transference of thoughts, feelings, and, and, to, uh, and, and ideas, whether they're intuitively, emotively, super consciously. Um, so yeah, so the two people apologize for betraying you. So something was trying to box somebody in. Something was definitely trying to box somebody in. Um, and uh, But the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Best is yet to come. So it's time for somebody to start dating again. Get locked in and laser focus. Get locked in and laser focus. But one yes from God is all somebody needs. But drink water is a form of self-care. And um, move on from something. It's time to move on from something. So like I said, prayer. Somebody's prayers are being answered. You want to stay on that frequency of continue to get your prayers answered. But, um, yeah, prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead. That's a new moon in Taurus. But prosperity lies ahead for you. So stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Self-worship, 37. My hands fold as I speak to the stars, watching as the sky holds its breath. It's in stillness that I find all that I am and all of divinity within me. That's right, all of divinity within me. All of divinity within me. All of divinity within me. So, yeah. That's what I see. I see you, um, you know, really just trying to stay focused. Really, really staying focused. But, yeah, so... Somebody is either going into a leadership position, but I mean, you're a leader anyway, but I, I see the main thing here, three of pentacles is really about teamwork. And so that's in your personal and your professional life. And you can't be in a team with people that's like, it's their way or the highway. And that's their demon of fear, doubt, uncertainty of it. If it's not done this way, then it's going to be wrong. Like in your personal and your professional life, because that energy will contaminate just being in, breathing the same air as those types of energies. Because they're wearing, a, they're wearing a mask. They're masking something else, some kind of insecurity. So for you, it just doesn't work. It's just too much sword fighting. You all are an incredibly smart sign. They're going to end up saying something that y'all going to gonna end up having to read them. You know, you're going to end up feeding up, stepping off your throne. It's, not even, it's just not even worth it. It's just not even worth it. So sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Yeah, sometimes you just have to say, you know, you, you wanna you wanna believe certain things about people, but they masking something else going on. They could be masking some kind of sex demons. That's what this is right here. They could be masking some kind of, you know, insecurities about their um their intuition, right? They could be feeling like they're not um intuitive enough. They may feel like, okay, their eye they may feel like their eyes are deceiving them so they physic they physically gotta see it before they can believe it. Like they masking something else is going on. But you're like you you just hey, you like this. You just wiping your hand. You just you like this. Okay, like I, I can put my hands together and pray. I for real I can pray. I'm just this right here. I'm just gonna start praying for some people because I mean the other you know so that's what I'm seeing for you all so far. So yeah, so 7-7 seven, seven is very, very important. It's a master number. It just means that you're able to penetrate straight to the core of the matter. It means that you're able, to, you're designed to release others from mental and spiritual pain. Like I said, you're not going to pain yourself when you can see that people are not getting it. It's like they physically need to see it. You can say it all day long and people won't get it until they physically see it. So that's when you're going to have to start praying for people. You're going to have to really start praying for people. I am always mindful and live only within each moment I have. Live on, only within each moment I have. Yeah. Sources, sources, like you, you're just going to have to pray for people because some people are not going to get how... Um, toxic you know some air some spaces that they're in when people are wearing they mask and some other kind of pain and they're assuming certain things until so the best thing you can do with your high priestess gifts is pray for people because you know when high priestess gives your intuition one thing may mean something totally different death doesn't always mean death if you have a dream about death it could literally mean a person is praying for a rebirth you know of or something they could be praying for a leadership position. They could be praying for a new job, like this job to end for uh, something else to open up. 
But like I said, the best thing you can do is pray for people so that you're not operating and you're not attaching yourself to their demons. And it's not causing you to feel like, okay, they're being, you know, bullied or they're being strong armed or, you know, and, you, and all of a sudden you got knots in your stomach. You can't think, you can't be like, well, what are they masking? I'm so scared for them. I'm so nervous. So it's just saying, no, pull it together, pull it together. 28, I'm a leader. So in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. So... This is where love language is going to come in. This is where if you're staying connected to people, this, this is a real opportunity for you all to learn each other's love language. So that way you give people an opportunity to show you what your love language is and vice versa, right? So if they're willing to learn how to speak yours fluently, great. If they're not, hey, no love lost. You tried. Move on. Just move on. Don't even stress yourself out. That's where your adaptability is going to come in. Uh, ver, um, Gemini's. That's where your, your adaptability is going to come in. Here are the questions for the moon and Leo. Like I said, vulnerability is a strength, right? That keeps you in meekness. That's what you're saying, okay, I don't have to be in reactive mode. Your meekness is a strength, right? You're saying let, you let God handle things. First question for the moon and Leo is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? The second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Self-exploration and self-expression. Yeah, elemental wisdom. That's right, elemental wisdom, which is very important. Yep, elemental wisdom is very, very important. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you all uh, so far. That's what I'm seeing for you so far. So, yeah, like I said, once you realize that when that moon is in Leo and you start to think to yourself, you know, I want to go where I'm appreciated, right? And so allow your vulnerability be to, you know, really be a strength for you. And so when you think about unicorns and fairies and dragons and purpose that these creatures may serve at a time, you know, the question is, you know, uh, dragon energy is very effective for clearing toxicity you know, in the environment of the earth, whether in the water, the air, the land, you know, we talk about this right here. Um, you know, and um, whether, you know, they are powerful, swift creatures making them excellent choice to call on during an acute crisis and, and unicorns in most spiritual teachings, white light is the purest and the most potent source of light you can work with. And so, and at their essence, the unicorn manifests a pure enlightenment, right? So, again, this is so many different things. Like I said, elemental wisdom, fairies, or air, air elements, you know, ask for their assistance with air quality as the physical breathing issues. Salamanders and fire dragons can burn away old energy uh, to create new energy. So, you know, when you have an affirmation, that you can create an affirmation, I am pure of heart in my intention to work with the wisdom of the elemental creatures, so it's just saying, you know, when, well, again, when there are people who are masking some other kind of pain, you know, because you got all this water right here of like creating a life for themselves and living some kind of a lifestyle and, and they feel like they're masking something. So it's just saying you can pray for them from your throne, but don't step down off of your throne and just like, you know, you know, operating from a place thinking the worst because that, that energy, you can send out something, you can send out something very powerful that actually can bring something to life that you don't want to bring to life. So just be very careful with your thoughts because they can create a reality that you like, oh my God, that's not the reality I wanted to create. That is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next video. I'm sending great energy to you all this week. Don't forget to set those intentions. I will see you in the next video. Bye.